Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Weapon. Welcome back to Terraria. Between last episode and this episode, I just came back to base. Uh, basically just sat in my other world's um, money generator, essentially. I came back to the world and our luck still holds. We just killed the golem. A couple of times actually and look what has been graced us outside of our door another gold bunny so as as per usual I grabbed this gold bunny and I put it with its friends in the chest but uh, yeah basically what I've what I've been doing is as I've sat in in my money generator that uh, I made on another world a while back and I needed I needed to get some money uh, everything that I got from there all the items all the drops I either put in a chest on that world or I sold I am NOT bringing any items from any other world only thing I am bringing to make this legit is the money uh, I basically just set left my character there and it just generates tons and tons and tons of money uh, the only reason I need this money is because of reforging costs. They're super high. I just spent the past 10 minutes trying to get this stinger up to level, or uh, up to the unreal level. So that way it's it's very useful now to us. Shoot those arrows. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I learned between, also I learned between episodes is that uh, this dude right here, the arms dealer. Once you kill the golem, he sells stinger bolts. So we can actually grab our stinger bolts here. And with our newfound money, we can actually use the stinger bolt. And I don't know if I'm going to use it as a main weapon at this time. I might use it for like a backup weapon to where if, I, if I'm getting overwhelmed or when I'm fighting bosses, something of that nature. I want to make sure I have enough bolts. Um, I'm hoping that I can recover something from that speaking of I could probably now take the time hopefully we can get lucky since we just found the golden bunny and hopefully we can get this to unreal because that is however the the best the best reforging that a oh look at there unreal mega shark we did get lucky oh so yeah, now it does a little bit more damage, has a little bit more velocity of uh, the you know the bullet speed, things of that nature. Uh, I've been getting, I, I've been getting or try to clean up my inventory a few things like bombs and magic daggers and things that I'm finding from the mimics that I find. So I'm gonna just quick stack all that money. Um, so we have two options today. We either can either go to the the uh, dungeon and farm the dungeon. Or we can go and do uh, something that I planned on doing today, which I think might be somewhat special. We got, uh, while we were roaming through the, uh, the temple, we got something called a solar tablet, which most people don't know what a solar tab tablet does. It's something similar to a blood moon, but during the day. It's uh, basically the... It stays constantly dark, and creatures come forth and spawn like crazy. And each these new characters and these new creatures bring forth new items, uh, things that you can craft with the Tinker's Table, things of that nature. It's basically just another push toward the next few bosses. Uh, the next boss that I'm planning on taking out, with any luck, would be... Uh, Duke Fisher on because he's next in the t in the boss pool. Uh, I mean, we could skip Duke, but he's got a lot of powerful weapons that will help us push us to getting um, the solar event and the cultists complete. So we're in very very much inching toward the ultimate fight. You know the uh, the Moon Lord. But it's always it's comforting to see that. Uh, yeah, the golden bunnies seem to always spawn after we kill the boss. So I'm glad to see that uh, that tradition keeping alive. Hopefully we get more more luck soon from our golden bunnies. 
or golden squirrels because we did see a golden squirrel but anyway I'm gonna make a quick cut here as you can see it's 2 30 in the morning I gotta wait till about 6 when it turns daytime and what we're gonna do is we're just basically gonna call the solar eclipse if it doesn't happen already there is a small chance when the solar eclipse happens that uh, or there's a certain chance after you kill one of the major bosses I think it's the uh, Plantera, I do believe, or the, Go the Golem, sorry, the Golem. There is a, like, 10% chance, I think. I could be wrong on that, on that, uh, those numbers, but it's a certain percentage every single day for a solar eclipse to happen. Uh, just like if there's a small chance every time the nightfall happens to get a blood moon, so... Let me wait till the morning and see if it is going to happen. If not, we'll use our solar tablet and we'll get started with the uh, with the blood uh, the the solar eclipse. So be right back. All right. It seems to be daytime. Seems to be. So no solar no solar event happened yet. So we're going to use the tablet and the solar eclipse is happening. We're gonna use our stinger for a little bit. Oh wow, we're graced with the moth already. Oh hello, Mothra. Hey, back off me. I might need to switch back to the un. I mean, this thing does do a lot of damage. That is for sure. But as you can see, there's a bunch of new enemies. The solar event is quite hard, so if you're not ready for it, I would. You know warning be advised because these creatures are really really hard so if you don't have uh, proper oh by the way I could probably buff up and make this a little bit easier oh look at this broken hero sword yeah let's uh well, let's keep moving for one do this on the move actually I put that there just in case I want to switch back to it and I'm basically gonna switch back to my gun because yeah, it, it sh fires a lot faster. It knocks these guys back. So that way we don't have to worry about them getting in our face and doing what this vampire is doing. Causing all kinds of havoc to our health pool. <laughs> and as you can see with the... Oh, hello, Mothra. Welcome back again. As you can see with the Unreal upgrade to this, upgrade modifier, or Unreal modifier, this gun shoots like... Crazy! It's got some of the fastest. Oh, I need a potion. It's it's one of the fastest weapons in the game, essentially for a ranged person. All right, let's switch back to the bolt. Mothra, stop it! All right. Oh wow, we got a yo-yo, the Eye of Cthulhu. That's a good yo-yo. It's a good melee weapon. I'm hoping that uh, one of the ranged weapons drop from this this event. Uh, I can't remember what the ranged weapon is from this without actually looking it up. Oh, hello. Uh, I gotta be careful for my uh, my NPCs down there. Oh wait, our doors are locked, so these guys can't get through at all. And I'm glad that we have infinite bullets with this thing because we would probably run out of ammo a long time ago. This is just... We are to the point now where the solar eclipse is just really, really easy. Uh, or it can be if you don't watch yourself, which if I talk too much, there's a chance that I may, may cause that to happen. But it, the solar eclipse is not something like a... I mean, it is a, an event. So if you die, it doesn't cause the event to go away. It's just you just you just die, essentially. Oh. All right, here I go. The Reaper. Hello, Reaper. Come on, guys. Gals and other. And, I mean... We're not doing that much knockback, but it does keep them at bay when there's only a few of them, as you can see. 
if you can see. I'm trying to get back over here to the light. Oh, wow. He did a lot of damage. Oh, look at another Mothra. You know what? I'm actually going to switch to my curse bullets for her. She, she does a lot of damage. Another thing that I might need to do, just speaking out loud, is I might need to build myself a crystal farm. Oh, the, the uh, truffle died. Oh, well, he'll respawn tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll get him back. Oh, we got another broken hero sword. Woo! Normally, you only get about one of those per... Uh, per event, but we're getting really, really lucky with our drops. I normally don't have to fight that many Mothras either. Alright, since Mothra's dead, I need to switch back to my infinite bullets. So that way I don't waste no more. I want to use the chlorophyte bullets on bosses, more or less. And Mothra is the boss of this event, even though it's not really a boss. It's just a very high advanced killing creature. She can mess your day up, make you have a very bad day if you're not careful. As with all these creatures, they, they do a lot of damage. But, as you can see, we're we're doing pretty good. We have we have the firepower to, to keep them at bay. Even the even the most ridiculously OP creatures in this event. And as long as we stick near our, our arena that we built, that's another reason why I built this arena is for blood moons and you know solar eclipses and so much fun so much fun oh reaper back off Whoop. hey swamp thing and if you were worried about money before this event to help you solve your money problems because they drop a lot of money All right, Mothra. Oh, what is that? I've never seen that before. It's baby Mothra? Okay. All right, Mothra, back off. Woo! Oh, she's laying eggs over there. I saw that. Uh, leave me alone for 17 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oh, 5, 4. Oh, rats. As you can see, we just dropped 40 gold. Oh, that's a lot of gold to be dropping. But I normally don't fight this many Mothras in this. Oh, she came back to came back to life at full health. Uh, might need to take a retiring. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, I need to run down and talk to Nurse super fast when I respawn. But as long as I don't press these buttons, these guys can't get in. Which is awesome. Which is really, really awesome. So I gotta be really careful. Hopefully another Mothra won't spawn. Thanks for healing me to full, nurse. There we go. And you wanna make sure you close the door. They don't wanna get inside because they will mess all your NPCs up. There we go. We did die a couple of times, but it's only because the uh, Mothra doesn't play fair sometimes. Oh, wow. We're only halfway through. Oh, we got a Death Sickle. That's one of the rare items from the, uh, from the Reaper. I'll have to take a look at that and show you, show you what it's all about. Knockback's pretty good. Oh, get back, you little orby guy. Death Sphere. Hey, 
Stop it. Yeah, that guy hurts. The little, uh, what is this guy's? Meathead. Yeah, he hurts a lot. Hey, stop laying eggs over there. Come on. She's always trying to lay her eggs to, to produce her young. And that's how they get you. I think that's why I had so many Mothras, because they went off went off screen and shot, uh, laid an egg, and then the Mothras kept spawning. Oh, yeah, she's mad at me. Oh, there's a baby Mothra. I gotta kill that, otherwise it'll turn into another Mothra. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Come on, heal up. Ah. Here I was talking so good, I should have kept my mouth shut. I should have kept it shut. I was doing so good. I was. But we did get two of the things. I mean, it's it's a melee weapon that we got the, the weapon uh, thing for, but still, it's always good to have some some of those things in your collection. All right, let's get out of here. See if we can't find any Mothra eggs. Get rid of this vampire that's after us. All right, chill out, vampire. Chill out. And I'm also looking for one thing, one other thing that the the vamp. I think it's the vampires dropped them. It's a uh, sunstone, and they will allow me to make a special item that we will use in our arsenal. Once we get all the required pieces, and I think it's called a Celestial Stone. That's a really, really good trinket, or a really, really good accessory item. If you can get the pieces for it. Alright, so let's go ahead and drink a potion so we don't actually meet our demise early. Oh, look at all this money we are dropping. Woo! Hey, Swamp Thing! Or you, yeah, you're Swamp Thing. Okay, I, I really need to be killing the creatures of the deep. Those guys is what the ones I really need. To, to, oh, I need to get rid of that rope. Uh, I'm bleeding. I need to wait 30 seconds. Probably could run back inside. Let's see if this sp the death sphere drop a heart. Nope. Nope. What about you, Mr. Vampire? Are you gonna drop a heart for me? No, nope. he has no heart. Okay. Awesome. Yep, there's a creature from the deep. That's one of the creatures. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna... Retire for a second. Oh, how'd they get inside? I left the door open. See, that's why you don't leave the door open. Prime example. And they just wrecked. And they're going and they're just eating all of our followers. All of our NPCs. Ah, well, the nurse is dead, so... Rip that. Oh, I gotta get rid of that rope. Hello, Frankenstein. Oh, I hate that guy. Drink a potion. Buff up. Alright, let's stop firing for a second. Let's regain some health. Because that guy that keeps shooting me, that's hurting me and killing me a lot, is... They basically, every time you uh, you hit him, oh Mothra, really? Not now. I see you down there. No eggs for you. No egg for you, Mothra. Go ahead and try to lay another one. Yeah, go ahead and try to lay another one. Not gonna happen. Oh, okay. I was about to say. 
Go ahead and try to lay another one, Walker. Yeah, go ahead and try to lay another one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, she went down pretty quickly that time. Woo! Death spheres are everywhere! Nope, 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 nope. Alright, Psycho, you dead. Reaper dead. More death spheres. Another Mothra. Uh. Ow. Oh no, stop it, Mothra. Are you gonna go lay an egg? Yeah, I think you are. And you're laying a bunch of eggs. Oh wow, she laid two in a row. And the event is over, and it is nighttime because the solar eclipse happens during the day. Weird, huh? But that's the solar eclipse. Sorry if it was not what you were anticipating for today. Oh wow, well, we have we have some visitors that we need to get rid of. Come on, vampire, give me a sunstone. And no, we did not get the sunstone. Hopefully. There's some drops out here that can very much well take care of that. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, uh, well, drats. Anyway, better luck next time. But you can, you can make the little tablet that we that I used. Basically, what you do is you go and you take the forges. Did I even pick one up? No, we'll probably have to go back to the temple. But basically, you take the solar tablet fragments, take it to a lizard fort, a uh, lizard forge. And uh, actually, let's just go to guide and find out. I think they change it. It's like they seem to change it every other update. Where sometimes it takes the forge, other times it takes. Oh, we could do it at the Mithril Admiral now. Okay. So you used to be able to. You used to have to use it at the little lizard forge that you got from the temple itself. But now apparently you can use it with just making a. Yeah, there you go. See, eight solar fragments equal one solar tablet and each solar tablet calls a solar eclipse so we may do this I may do another one not right now probably off camera more likely because you know there's no sense in doing two things the same I mean but if there is anything that I get that's special uh, other than like say maybe we did get the the death sickle it is a melee weapon that has a ranged attack which I find super amazing the attacks go through walls so cool and then we did get the uh the two eye of cthulhu you got the basic one and then we did get a we did get a keen version of it basically it's a yo-yo and it's got a super 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 long range and as long as this yo-yo is out if you have never played with yo-yos see there we go we just killed it with it oh well um and then we got the two broken hero swords which i'm going to go down here and talk to guide about i know they're for, for mainly uh, melee weapons, yeah, you, tur you turn the Excalibur with a Broken Hero Sword to a true Excalibur, and you also do Knight's Edge with a Broken Hero Sword to make true Knight's Edge, and then you mix those two blades together, and you get the Terra Blade. We may do it just for novelty's sake, say that we actually did it, although we may not use it, but I am going to put this these away. These are cool weapons. Uh, I will keep the original sell the, that one and then we'll put these away but yeah there you go ladies and gentlemen that was the solar eclipse uh, sorry if it wasn't funny or entertaining but uh it was more i was trying to aim more of an informative type if you've never done that or if you've never seen this game before and anyway, i'm trying to go through every aspect but uh the next episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the dungeon for sure and we're going to go farming for a few of the items in the dungeon that we need to finish out um, to make the Ankh shield. I think we have a few of the things we need, uh, like the blindfold. Yeah, let's let's actually look. I don't want to I want to steer anybody wrong. 
So I know the blindfold is part of it. So let's see, blindfold with the armor bracing, which I think is armor polish and something else. Uh, the medicated bandage, which is a bezoar and a band-aid. The plan, which I think I have already, which is the counter curse mantra and something else. Oh, we have a, a moon charm. Yeah, if we, if we would have got a sunstone, we would have been able to mix those together to make a uh, celestial shell. No, I think it takes a Neptune shell to make the celestial shell. Anyway, I, I'm diverting off topic. Uh, let's see, we have these. It's It's got to be in one of our many, many loot chests over here. There we go, yeah. We got the, the, the plan. We have the menacing blindfold, which I'm probably going to put that back over here. Probably can sell it, but you never know. Somebody might want to join me one day, and they might need the item. So I try to keep it and be considerate because, you know, I am always up to the fact of every, anybody. If you want to play, if you want to do something while I'm recording... Fantastic! I'm more than happy as more than happy to have you as a guest. All right, back to what we we're saying. Uh, we got a couple of bezoars, like I got three bezoars. I, I did get the curse. Uh, we did get. We do have the blindfold. All we need is like the medicated bandage, which drops from werewolves. Uh, and then what we, we need then would be a megaphone and something else. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but we'll we'll make an episode on it when we make the onk. Uh, I will go back and do the research on how to make the plan so that way I don't necessarily, you know, give you false information because I, I, I went ahead and made it. Uh, I did, I think I did it off camera. But anyway, regardless, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Not only does it help me out, it helps you out because, you know, we're all a family. We need to support each other. Thank you everybody for watching. And until next time. See you later.